In the real world, if we were to create a full-length film as Mac and Squash Productions, we would make it a low-budget film, much like what we do in The Shadows, a mockumentary that greatly inspired our film opening. What We Do in the Shadows is an independent, low-budget film which sees the directors, producers and writers take away TT and Jermaine Clement starring in the film as well. This, combined with them using additional under-the-radar cast and crew, helps keep the film to a low budget whilst not compromising on the quality of the film. Pike, and don't you forget it. Well, as you know... On the release, the film grossed $3.3 million in the US box office and had a 96% positivity rating on the website Rotten Tomatoes, which is a positive indication that a low-budget film can be successful. In addition to the low budget aspects of the film, we would also try and gain funding for, from corporations such as Universal Pictures, as seen in the credits of our film opening, as they are a globally appreciated production company with, which specialise in light hearted entertainment. By doing this we would be able to distribute our film to a larger audience, thus making a name for our production company as well. In terms of the cast and crew of the film, we decided to look back at our film opening analysis to gain an understanding of the jobs that need to be credited in the film. We then narrowed the list down to the imperative jobs, including the ones that were used in our film. Initially, we struggled with working out the order of the credits. However, Having consulted our teacher about this, he corrected the faults. We were particularly interested to find out the director's name always appears last in the opening credits. The name of the crew members are fictional. However, we also integrated the software names which we used to get the sound and fonts too, as we felt it is important to the credit this. What the, are you kidding, Chuck?